All right, welcome to our second application of nonlinear ODEs, which is a differential equations model for COVID. In particular, we want to answer the following questions. First of all, how does COVID spread? So how does COVID-19 spread? 19 spread. Second of all, when do outbreaks occur? So when do outbreaks outbreaks occur and also how to manage them? Okay. And finally, how do we prevent outbreaks? In other words, how effective are vaccines really? Are vaccines? And we'll be able to answer all this with our model. So in this case, suppose you have three groups of people, three groups of people, And by the way, this is what's called the SIR model because it has those three unknowns. One is the people who have been exposed to COVID and those are called susceptible. So the sus people, okay. In other words, either those who, again, might not have COVID, but you suspect they do have COVID. So kind of our control group, and then the people who actually have COVID, so infected, and the people who had COVID but no longer have it, and those are called recovery. Recovery. Okay, three kinds of people, those we think have COVID, those who actually got COVID infected, and those who recovered from it. And we will make two assumptions, which I'll just say orally. So first of all, assume an infected person immediately affects someone else. So there's no latency here. And also assume recovered people have a superpower. They don't get reinfected. They're just completely immune. And so because of the dynamics, it makes sense to think of it as a chemical tank problem. So again, here we have the sus people, the infected people, and the recovered people, S-I-R. And let's think a little bit about the interaction between all of them. So again, chemical tank, or it's what we call a compartmental model, First of all, let's focus on this second arrow here, the I to R. And in this case, let's just assume this rate is constant. So the same proportion of infected people recovers. It's constant. Let's set it equal to gamma. To gamma. So here we can complete this. And here gamma is the recovery rate. So gamma is just a percentage of people who recover every day. Percentage of people. who recover per day. And not only is gamma significant, but also it's reciprocal. And let me just quickly discuss this. So one over gamma, that thing is called the mean residence time of the disease.
time of the disease, it's sort of how long it stays there. In fact, let me illustrate this. So suppose, for instance, gamma is 0.25. On the one hand, it means 25% of infected people recover per day. Recover per day. Day. And also for us, this means that one person recovers fully after four days. So one person. It's not necessarily true, but at least we assume that in our model. Covers in four days. So in one over gamma, which is four days. That's why it's called the mean residence time, kind of like resident evil. So that's only one hand. That's the uh, rate of recovery, which assume is constant. What's more interesting is the second rate, S becoming I, and this really depends on the number of infected people. Because if there are a lot of infected people, they will turn susceptible people into infected people. They will infect a lot of people. Just like think lots of zombies or lots of vampires who turn around healthy people into zombies and vampires. So this depends on I. And in fact, we assume that this rate will be some number B over N times I, which I explain now. So now let's look back at S goes to I. S goes to I. So again, this depends on I because the more infected people there are, the bigger the turnaround rate. So it depends on I. Which, by the way, it makes sense that the other one doesn't depend on I or R because, well, the more people recover, that doesn't affect the infected people at all. So here, assume assume the rate is, is simply some number B over N times I. some number, and here, what is N? That's the total population. N is S plus I plus R, which again, we don't assume yet it's constant. And B, Queen B, is the number of people a sick person infects per day. people a sick person infects per day. Screen this up a little bit. So number of people a sick person infects per day. Like if B is three, then a sick person infects three people per day. And this is great. Now we have everything to complete our model. So I would like to remind you, we had S ooh, and an I and an R. So again, with the rates B over N I and then gamma. All right, now let's use our in and out equation. So S prime of T, that's in minus out. There is nothing going into S, so it's zero. But what's going out is hmm, the rate is B over NI. That's the rate itself. And then 
times S of T, right? Rate times whatever is in the tank. That's one thing. And then for I prime of T, it's still in minus out. Okay. So what is going in is once again, the rate B over an I of T times whatever is in the first tank. So remember that chemical tank problem with concentration. And what is going out is just constant. So the rate is gamma and whatever is in the second tank. And last but not least, R prime of T, again, in minus out, what is going in is gamma times I of T and what is going out is zero. So in the end, we have our SIR model. Model, which is simply, so S prime of T is minus B over N SI. I prime of T, I prime of T, that's B over N, SI minus gamma I. And finally, R prime of T equals gamma I. So that's the model we start with. And then we wanna simplify this a little bit hopefully this works yay it works so once again that's the model we start with and now we want to simplify it because it turns out one of those variables is sus so we have one imposter here which one is it in other words one of the variables is completely unnecessary and to notice that let's just add up all those equations so note, if you add up, up all three equations, equations, you get the following. So S plus I plus R prime plus R prime. Again, that's S prime plus I prime plus R prime. And now we can use the ODE. So it's minus B over N SI plus B over N SI minus gamma I plus gamma I. And look, you're all invited to the cancellation party because all those terms cancel out and we get zero, which says that the sum of all those is constant. But remember the sum, we call this the total population. N equals S plus I plus R is constant. And therefore, we can actually solve for R in terms of S and I. So N minus S minus I. So what's the point? The point is once we solve for S and I, for S and I, we can figure out R. So R was the sus one. So in other words, all we need to solve for is S and I. So our simplified model now is simply S prime is minus B over N 
SI and I prime is B over N. SI minus gamma I. And in the next video, we will see how to simplify this even further.